Paper two, question number four, and specifically this. Summation from n is equal to three all the way until infinity of one over n factorial. In the year 2017, this came out in the A-level. This is a 2014 VJC paper. And it is, uh, it is those students who acknowledge this kind of secret perspective that got the bonus. Because it's very difficult to do this question, you know. You know why? Because this question here, this one here, cannot be done by either using the sigma rule nor pattern recognition. I mean, for sigma rule-wise, there's no, there's no summation, there's no sigma in, in the topic summation that gives you a rule to evaluate this. Even if you want to see, try pattern recognition by listing down all the terms, It's not like there's no pattern, there's definitely a pattern. It's just that we cannot solve every pattern that is in the world. The pattern that is in our syllabus are all set up so that it is still within our scope. So, so yes, there's a pattern, but it is not a pattern that I can solve. So where is the origin of this perspective? And why is it that it is so why is it that so many students miss this out? Because the answer to this cannot be found in summation. That was why so many students missed it out. When we are learning summation, we go back to summation to learn it. Maybe the closest one to it is APGP. This is neither found in APGP nor summation. It is found in a topic that comes almost all the time after summation and quite a while after summation. That's why very few people saw it and related back to this. What is that topic? Do anyone can remember? Javier, do you remember? You know why you have to remember this? It is in ML26. Right. In the MF26, there are actually five sum to infinity formulas. Five formulas sum to infinity. There are six standard formulas for sum to infinity that is in your syllabus. In case you think there's only one, which is sum of a GP to infinity, A over 1 minus R, it is not. The one that you memorize is the hardest, A over 1 minus R. So it's always tested. The other five are easy because they exist right in the MF26. Let me show you where the summation is, where the sum to infinity is. For example, e to the power of x, which is this 1 plus, which is this 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial. You know, they, they will always give a general term. Can you see? This general term, if you just think about it, it is actually this. You know, I, I just put this into the sigma notation. Right? It is exactly the same as that. So I have 1. The second term is x to the power of 1 divided by 1 factorial, it is x. We have a sum to infinity, and we have a sum to infinity, five, five formulas for sum to infinity. So if you are looking at, if you are looking for your inspiration from summation, if you are looking for the perspective from the topic summation, you will not see it. If you keep revising summation within summation, you will still not see this. That was why we purposely, in our revision together, remember, where did I put this part? I put this part back into summation. And so that we can, re re we can remember that in the summation, that is this McLaurin's result. And e to the power of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the power of 4 over 4 factorial x to the power of 5 over 5 factorial all the way until infinity looks very, very similar to this. And to apply this, the, the, the MF26 even gives me what kind of x this can adopt. This can adopt all x. Any x. It can adopt all x. Whatever that I want. It doesn't really matter. It's not like binomial expansion 1. Binomial expansion 1, x must be between minus 1 and 1. But this can adopt all x. From observation, I'm going to let x be equal to 1. And I'm supposed to evaluate this to infinity. All right? So I know 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial, 1 over 5 factorial, all the way until infinity is e to the power of 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 over 2 factorial. And this is sum from n is equal to 3 all the way until infinity 
of 1 over n factorial is going to be e to the power of 1 minus away 5 over 2.